Hey adventurers, it's a beautiful day to be exploring Bermuda, and in this episode, we are truly going to give you the over and under of this awesome Atlantic area. In previous episodes, we've brought you to popular tourist spots, hidden beaches, and amazing systems of caves and caverns. You'll want to watch through this fitting finale for some more secret spots and memorable moments as we wrap up the remainder of our Bermudian bonanza of admirable adventures. As we are out in the Cooper's Island Nature Reserve on Bermuda. A really nice peninsula. It's all parkland, uh, just south of the town of St. David. Beautiful area. Finding some geocaches. We're gonna go try a where I go. We'll see how that goes. If we get that, that'll give us, uh, I think our seventh different icon type on the island, which would be pretty cool. We'll see what we can get. And we're also gonna just check out the park and the beaches and find some more geocaches. So let's go check this place out. So we've just finished the where I go and we are now moving our way to go find the final. Hey you guys, where you go? Boo! You got your where I go. Here we go, that's... Finally! That's our icon. <laughs> Did we get a um, letterbox yesterday? Yes, we got a letterbox yesterday. Yeah, that's seven, seven icons on Bermuda. Seven icons on Bermuda, good job! Some of these caches that we're finding belonged to the um, now defunct Geo Tour. If you still um, take the words, which I'm not going to show for this cache, and still collect them, that you can still pick up a coin at the aquarium. Let's go up to this observation deck and check out the view that Mr. Landsharks was looking at. There's a door right here. What a view. Oh. Found a geocache. I do believe. Well, it might not be. Should we check this Okay, it could be somebody's lunch. It could be someone's lunch. Oh, no, it's congratulations, you found it. Duh. We got a headless shark. <laughs> That'll work. So, Mr. Land Sharks is checking out the, uh, the old cave system there. Probably storage bunkers or something. And, uh, we're going to start making our way back off this peninsula, but what a beautiful place to visit here in Bermuda. Now we promised you some under, and we won't disappoint. Mr. Land Sharks and I had planned a scuba excursion, and all suited up, we were ready for some time under Bermuda's boiler reefs.
So we are at Daniel's Head. It is a beautiful little beach, as you can see. We're just enjoying a little lunch while we find the cache here and then make our way on, continuing to explore for the day. So guys, what we have here, Mrs. Monkey is gonna go show us the world's smallest drawbridge. It is just big enough to get the mast of a boat through. There you go, there's the drawbridge. So today we are back on the railway trail of Bermuda. We started just past the town of Flats and we are walking along this beautiful section of the railway trail. We're finding geocaches, of course, but uh, also just enjoying the spectacular views. We're hoping to see some interesting sights as well. So stay tuned, let's see what happens in this adventure. I quite enjoy this part of the rail trail. It's um, it's certainly different than Mid Island, where you're more in the center and surrounded by the stone walls, tunnels, tree cover. Whereas this, you're actually right along the shoreline. It's it's quite beautiful. To say a Bermuda bushwhack is a little bit different than a bushwhack back home, that's for sure. Oh my goodness. You can't see her now, but Mrs. Monkey is back in there. That's not a tiger, it's a monkey. <laughs> oh my goodness. You found it over there? I found it over here. Nice. Well, we are definitely deep in the jungle looking for this cache. So we've moved on to Spittle Pond Nature Preserve. It's the oldest national park in Bermuda and quite large and lots of great stuff to see here. So let's go explore. We'll find some interesting geology, some cool nature, and enjoy the views with you as we go geocaching at Spittle Pond. Compared to a lot of other places here in Bermuda, this is one of the most unique earth caches. In fact, it's unique. We've never seen this anywhere else in the 600 plus earth caches we've done. So definitely worth coming here and checking this out. I'd highly recommend it. So what did you think? Good place for lunch? It was. You can reenact the Little Mermaid on the rock over here if you so desire, but... Um, and then a nice big lunch table. And, and a nice big lunch table, which unfortunately you can't see our lunch because we already ate it. But it was a lovely visit. Well, we haven't found too many geocaches in this park, but... We just came across this old entrance to this building. Man, this feels right out of Indiana Jones. Morgans of Montreal were buried in this crypt that we've just come across to, totally by accident. That's a pretty cool place to find. Wow. Well, we may have had a bunch of DNFs in that park, but it was still pretty cool to explore as you saw, finding the old crypt and uh, all the old abandoned buildings in there. It really felt like being a jungle archaeologist like the Indiana Jones. You always think you are when you go geocaching. Really cool. Well, we're back on the railway trail. The rain's picking up, so I'll put the camera away shortly. But this is just part of being on Bermuda. The rain comes, the rain goes. That's why it's so lush and green. 
So hope you're enjoying this adventure so far. We're gonna see a couple more things before we leave Bermuda. And for those couple more things, we'll sail softly, soaring swiftly over the picture-perfect plentiful reefs that encircle Bermuda and take you with us as we suit up to snorkel under Bermuda one more time. So we're all packed up, we're just waiting for our cab to the airport. It is almost the conclusion of our Bermuda adventure. We've got one more thing to do before we get on our plane. This is Land Monkey. How are you enjoying the big event so far? It's great, but it would be better once we get our ice cream. Yeah, looking forward to that ice cream. Yes. All right, well, just a moment here. We'll show you all the people who've come to say <laughs> farewell to Bermuda with us. All right, guys, so everybody's here for the event. Everybody's got their ice cream. Let's get the entire huge crowd for our event together. There they all are. All right, everybody. Bye-bye, <laughs> Bermuda. Bye-bye, Bermuda.